Hi and welcome to the Financial Fox. Today we are looking at how innovation and new technologies are revolutionizing the natural resource sector with our special guest, Vili, CEO and President of St. George Eco Mining. First of all, just to present St. George. St. George is a Canadian listed company under the ticker of SX and it is one of the new generation of mining companies focused on innovation and sustainable mining powered by disruptive technologies. How are you, Will? I'm very good, thank you. Thank you very much. Great. So, Will, we spoke a couple of weeks ago while you were uh, at the PIDA conference in Toronto. Now, I've got you here in the studio. So, do you want to tell us about St. George? A nice introduction and overview of what you do. Well, St. George is a, what do we say, multi-task uh, company. We, we have our uh, innovative technology. And we also have our uh, traditional mining uh, projects, like the gold in Iceland, the gold in Canada, we've got nickel. And then we have our uh, metallurgical technology, which, which uh, we're very proud of. With, uh, and, uh, and then we also are on the technology side, we're working uh, in blockchain technology with uh, our uh, subsidiary CU, which we're spinning off uh, to another company. And uh, yeah, so we're, we're, we're active on many fields. But you are still a natural resource company, absolutely, basically, yes, that yes. is integrating new technology into its operation. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, both on the metallurgical side, like in the lithium sector, and, and uh, we're also uh, uh, doing uh, something in the nickel, which will come later. But the, uh, yeah, so we're, we're, we're actively on, on the metallurgical side, and then in the technology side, also with the uh, Borealis Derivatives uh, Exchange, it's a uh, so we, we want to uh, find new and innovative ways to transition the, the mining industry. And you've always been um, working on technology because I understand that St. George has always been dealing with, uh, you know, how to integrate new technology into the mine. It's not something that happened basically at some point when you realize the disruptive impa impact of new technology. It's something that you always looked since the company started. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And also, uh, when we're looking at uh, the technology, it's like our uh, metallurgist Enrico, and uh, when we're talking together, the, the enthusiasm about uh, reducing the carbon footprint of a mine is not necessarily, uh, it, it, it's more or less about extracting and utilizing everything that you can out of the mine. So the old fashioned was, yes, we're going to get the gold and we're going to leave all everything else behind. But what we're doing now is saying, OK, let's look at the bigger picture. How can we extract everything that's within the mine? Okay, let's uh, talk about uh, the subsidiary within St. George, so we make a little bit clear also the project that you're working on. Well, what we have is St. George, we have the metallurgical technology and, and we have our uh, nickel projects. Uh, within our subsidiaries, we have uh, the gold projects in, in Kings of the North and we've got a nickel project there as well. Uh, and then we have another subsidiary in Iceland, which has uh, more or less uh, first right of refu refusal and uh, all mineral rights of, uh, for uh, looking for minerals in Iceland. Uh, and then we have, of course, CU, which is the blockchain, which is a spin-off, uh, which is a, a absolutely a separate an entity. And then we have uh, our uh, Borealis uh, Commodity Exchange, which is a very exciting, actually, uh, entity that uh, we're going to take forward. Do you, walk to, do you want to walk us through uh, each subsidiary and tell us, you know, give us a little bit more information and um, what is going on? Yes, uh, what we, if, we, if we just start with Iceland, uh, this, this summer we're going to do uh, uh, quite an extensive uh, work program, both in Trotlaskai and Vopnafjörður. Uh, we are uh, applying for uh, drilling permits in uh, Thormostalur. It's been uh, a bit of a challenge there, but uh, we're, we're, we're getting ahead. Uh, so uh, we'll have a team of geologists uh, on, 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 on both places. Uh, the same within uh, Kings of the North, which, uh, which hold our uh, gold and nickel licenses in, in, in Canada. We're going to do some extensive drilling campaign this, this, this summer, which we're now working on. And uh, we've been uh, uh, establishing and, and uh, making agreements with, with uh, service partners, you know, drilling and, and getting everything in place. So uh, th that's more or less what we're doing. We're also going to do some drilling in our uh, Nickel Julie uh, project, which is uh, within St. George as well. Uh, then, of course, we have CU, uh, 
and we are now actively looking to uh, list that and, and, and finish the, the, the spin-off. And as we previously said, we're hoping to be able to announce uh, an, a date for that listing within, uh, within uh, before the end of this month. Uh, that is going to be on the Canadian exchange. Yeah, Canadian Securities Exchange, the CZ. And Just to make it clear, ZU is a blockchain protocol. It's a blockchain protocol, yeah. yeah. And uh, we uh, acquired uh, VNet, which, which is a big data uh, uh, company. And uh, so uh, it, it's all getting there. We also uh, recently announced uh, a deal where we are using our uh, patent and random number generation to create a, a lottery uh, company, which, which was acquired here by St. James House, which is a UK listed company. Um, so we look very for, much forward to that because that's, that's a actually uh, like a, a development contract for for uh, for CU so it will generate income and uh, yeah which yeah. is quite unique you yeah. know adding a blockchain they actually generate income uh, is quite you know there's a lot of companies making technologies where they yeah. where they have no income and uh, don't know where they're going to utilize it but yeah. uh, but we have got a very very clear vision on on, on where we're going and uh, yeah, so we're very excited about that. Okay, let's go back to uh, the mining. Uh, yeah. St. George uh, recently uh, made an update on the lithium extraction. Do you want maybe to summarize? Um, yes, I mean, we, we have filed for patent uh, for the lithium technology and our agreement with ICM. It's been progressing absolutely by plan. Uh, so we, we are uh, very excited and uh, we feel that uh, uh, we have succeeded in, in, in what we're doing, and now we're just, uh, what do we say, uh, finalizing the, the, the last few issues uh, w w within the uh, technology and, uh, and getting it to the next stage. So we, it's actually very, very exciting. Okay, so do you explore basically uh, different metals, from gold to platinum to rhodium to palladium? Where do you see the driving demand coming from? Which are the hottest metal, basically, that you're focusing on? Well, gold is always uh, practical and, and, and uh, sustainable, and, and, it's just, it's, and, and the gold price has been very stable. Uh, what we're looking at now is the nickel and the lithium, of course driven by batteries, but uh, we've got very, very excited, uh, exciting uh, nickel uh, prospects. And uh, with the lithium technology as we're working with ICM, uh, that could be actually, well, not could be, it will be uh, groundbreaking. Okay, let's talk a little bit about sustainability, because if I'm understanding right, your technology, they, the aim of your technology is basically to minimize the impact of mining operation on the environment and the biosphere. How they happen, what, uh, you know, what your technology do to minima minimize those impact? Well, it's actually very basic. What we do is we look at the whole picture. So uh, many mining companies have always been focused on, okay, we're gonna get the gold, but not, not the all, all the other metals. So we look at the holistic picture and look at how we can extract it, you know, and, and get all the metals. For example, like w within the uh, deal that we have with Iconic Minerals, we're looking at not only the lithium, but also what comes with it. And that by, by uh, extracting everything and using the technology to do that, then we can minimize the uh, footprint, if you can say so. Do you want maybe to talk about a little bit about this uh, um, deal that you have with Iconic Minerals? Well, yes, it, uh, we, we have also a similar deal with uh, Hypo Resources, which is an Australian listed company, and we're uh, waiting their samples, and we're hoping to get them within the next couple of weeks. The, Iconic agreement uh, has proven to be, uh, it's been a bit challenge to, to, to do it, but the, uh, at the end of the day, uh, we've succeeded in what we set out to do. Uh, and uh, I think it will be a, a pleasant surprise to everybody that how far we achieved in life. Okay, that sounds good to news. Yeah. So, um, there are many countries that are basically now taking a position towards a shift to clean energy. Uh, they are implementing different policies. And do you maybe want to say what Canada and 
I, uh, Iceland, where actually your mining operations are, what are they doing to support um, this transition and how that is benefiting your company? Well, <clears throat> it, it, it's good to know both Canada and Iceland are, are uh, countries that are probably one of the, with, with one, some of the cleanest energy in the world. For example, Iceland has 100% renewable energy, so everything is renewable. So, uh, and, and that, that, that uh, just supports our uh, sustainable mining and our eco-mining uh, thought, and, 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 and which, which is what we want to do and what we want to stand for. So we're very proud to be in these countries and, and be a part of it. So, Willy, in, in the mining industry, do you think there will be other mining companies they are going to do or they are going to integrate within their business what you are doing? Because you, are, you have quite a unique uh, USP, basically. And most of the company operating in the natural resource space, they are not looking at actually at technologies. So do you think that is going to be a trend, is going to be a shift that other companies worldwide will, uh, will embrace? Yeah, I, th I think that's uh, generally what's happening uh, because uh, companies are looking for alternative solutions in order to minimize their footprint. Uh, people are also more uh, generally aware of the uh, environmental impacts of mines. They're also aware that we can't live without them. We can't live yeah. without the mines. So we all have to do this in harmony. So I think, I think companies will go the way that we are going. So uh, I think there will be a lot of companies that will follow our steps. Or possibly they will come to you for the, you know, for oh. a partnership and uh, uh, you know develop things together. Yeah, hopefully. So that, that, that would They're be welcome. good. That's maybe why you are in London. Yeah, well, maybe <laughs> they're welcome. <laughs> okay, Bill. Anything else that you want to say to uh, your investor about what they should expect? You know, what is going to be excited? What you are excited about? Yeah, we are. We are. <coughs> we're, we're really we're very upbeat within St George. We we we've. Uh, done everything that we promised uh, and uh, since I took over in August we've, we've delivered on all fronts. Uh, I've always said we under promise and over deliver yeah. and that's what we have done and I uh, hope we can uh, continue to do so. Okay, Billy thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. And uh, I hope to see you soon in London when we get you know more things moving and you know more deals and more update on St. George. Thank you very much. Thanks. This is everything from the Financial Fox. I see you next time.